This is how you make the perfect prime rib roast. I recommend grabbing a rib roast from the chuck side of the loin. That has that nice tender rib cap. We're going to remove the ribs from the roast. This will still give you that nice bone and flavor when cooking, but when you need to serve it, you'll be able to just remove the ribs and cut the steaks any thickness you would like. We're using our house rub here, but salt, pepper, and garlic powder would work great as well. From here, we're just going to tie this roast up. If you have the ability, let this roast sit seasoned for a minimum of two hours in the fridge. I've taken this roast home, and now it is time to preheat the oven to 250 degrees Fahrenheit and get a meat thermometer in the center of the roast. This took three and a half hours, and we cooked it to an internal temp of 118 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see, no crust has developed yet because we cooked at such a low temperature, so we're gonna preheat our oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit and let this sit covered in foil for a half hour. Once that rest has passed, we're going to cover this in our Alpine's house-made rosemary bone marrow butter. This is 40% bone marrow and a rosemary compound butter mixture. Any compound butter will work here, even just regular butter would work great as well. And now it is going to go into that preheated 500 degree Fahrenheit oven for 10 minutes. The 10 minutes has passed, and look at the crust that has developed here. You can see little sprigs of rosemary on top of the roast from the butter. It is time to cut into this thing. We're gonna remove the twine, pull off the ribs. Cutting into this roast, you can feel the nice crispy crust on the outside, and it is medium rare from the top to the bottom. No gray band. This is a great way to cook a prime rib. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something.